Compass FM and the widest music variety for North Canterbury. Uh, not only do we play some decent tunes, but we always have a decent chat with locals doing wonderful things in the community. And he's been in the news relatively recently, Raul Elias Drago, uh, talking about the uh, Dark Sky, the new Dark Sky uh, organisation or Dark Sky accreditation um, for uh, Oxford and North Canterbury here. Good morning, Raul. How are you? Good morning. Very well. Thank you very much for having us. Look, I have been seeing you being quoted all over the place, Radio New Zealand and all sorts of things, because this Oxford Dark Sky project is pretty impressive. So just for those that don't know what it is, what is Oxford Dark Sky? Oxford Dark Sky is a volunteer association made up of more than 20 local Oxford groups supporting the establishment of a dark sky site in the Oxford region. Alrighty, so what is a dark sky site? A a dark sky site is, is a location that preserves and protects the night sky. And so to establish a dark sky site, we develop three things. The first is quality lighting policies. Second is outreach and education opportunities. And thirdly, we garner local support. And all of that is with the aim of controlling and reducing the light pollution. And there are over 200 dark Uh, sky sites in the world and in New Zealand we have six of them so we can be really really proud of that Oxford recently gained the dark sky accreditation so it's one of these six sites tell us a wee bit more about that Yeah, so Oxford Dark Sky worked together with the local authorities and organizations through 2023, and we applied for Dark Sky status on behalf of the Oxford Forest Conservation Area. Uh, So this is a park somewhere nestled in the outskirts of of Oxford, just just bordering the town. And in January 2024, we earned accreditation. So this was really an exciting moment for all of us. Mm. And what that means is that they've certified the park, which is an 11,000 hectare parcel of public land, uh, under the jurisdiction of the Department of Conservation, the Papa Adafai, as an international dark sky park. And so now, with that accreditation, we have a framework which helps us maintain and promote its beautiful dark sky. Look, there are, um, I've read and heard about some benefits for people and for human health. We're talking about the dark sky. Can you expand on that a wee bit? Yeah, well, the first benefit is human health, yeah? And with human health, we know that blue light and white light affect some sleeping rhythms and our rest cycle impacts our blood pressure, our ability to manage stress from day to day. So really, human health is the first beneficiary. Secondly, we also, expecting dark sky and pointing lights downward, we dramatically improve the way we live. And what that means is we can drive more safely, we can live more securely at home, we can enjoy sports more, and we can appreciate the beauty of the stars and of astronomy. And thirdly, culturally, our connection in Aotearoa to the stars and to the sky is fantastic. We have our creation story and the separation of Zangi and Papa Tewehenga, which happens in the sky. And so this is a great way to celebrate our songs, our dances, and our and our culture. So that's uh, for humans. What about um, other benefits there for a dark sky? <laughs> Yeah, so there, there are other benefits. That's, that's, try, that's true. There are benefits for animals. So we know that many species migrate, uh, feed, and reproduce at night, bird species. So also frogs and insects. So there is a big component which benefits animals. We know that dairy cows build better body condition scores in the dark, whether they're in the dry period or the, or the, or the flush. We also know that the planet benefits from dark skies. So by using energy responsibly, we are treating the planet better. We're treating our pocket better. And finally, of course, accreditation is um, expected to bring some increased visitor traffic to Oxford. And we have already been contacted by international tourism bodies wanting to find out more about Oxford and about the Dark Sky Park. Look, the park is only about one hour from Christchurch or our international airport. So it's really arguably the most accessible Dark Sky site in New Zealand. And this is what makes Oxford unique, the Oxford Dark Sky Park, really, really unique. It's certainly helping that we have a Minister of Tourism as the local MP, so that's pretty good. How can um, we and uh, Compass FM and our listeners help out with this project? Well, there's some very simple things that we all can do at home. Um, you know, when we go outside and we have external lights in our, in, our, in our houses and around our properties, the first thing we ask is, you know, point your lights down to the ground where you, where you want the lights, not in the air. Um, when you can, please install lampshades or shield those lights. Use timers 
so that when uh, you go into a room or you go into an area and then you walk out, that light goes off when you don't need it. Shut the lights off also when you're not around. And even consider lowering that wattage of the, of the color. So favor those yellow and, and warmer white hues of color. And it's really important for Oxford Dark Sky, really the message here is we don't want anybody to live in the dark. It's not about living in the dark. We want people to have a better life using better lighting. And that's really our motto, better living through better lighting. But if you want to find out more, contact us on Facebook. So the Oxford Dark Sky on Facebook. Yeah, is that the, is that the um, page? Yeah, that's correct. On Facebook. So we've got a page and you can you can message us through the Facebook uh, page and we'll be happy to provide you more information. Brilliant stuff. Where does the Oxford Dark Sky go from here right now, Raul? So as we move into 2024, we are partnering with the local schools and the local observatory to organize some outreach and education events. If you follow us on Facebook, you can stay up to date with all that activity, and we hope to see everybody in the community come come to Oxford, come to enjoy the dark sky that we that we have. And into into the next year and the year after that, we're envisaging expanding that dark sky zone to encompass the whole Oxford subdivision of the ward. And what we want to do there is to apply for international dark sky reserve status. And in fact, the work has already begun. That does not surprise Surprise me, Raul Elias Drago. <laughs> well done. We've been talking about the uh, new Dark Sky accreditation for the Ultra Dark Sky uh, with Raul. Thanks so much for coming on to Compass FM, and we will be keeping in contact with you closely on this event. Well done to you. Thank you.